Hello everyone and welcome back to Movement. This week we are going to continue our journey with stage combat and we are going to focus today on slaps. <laughs> slaps are really useful in stories and slaps can happen to help punctuate a moment. I'm in love with you. Help make it more dramatic. We're in a library. You don't need to shout. What do you have to frost? And it can also just be really funny. I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> I accept. But in order to slap you, someone safely, again, we are going to introduce the predator and prey concept. And what your job today to, is, is to make sure you are going slow, you are precise, and you are being safe. But let's get started, huh? The first thing that I want you to do is with your partner or frame yourself up in a frame. And then I want you to draw a protective box around the person. If it's you, since it's just you, draw a protective box around you. If you, this was your partner, you would be drawing a protective box around them. And I want you to think of this box or this rectangle as a force field. You are never going to cross it. You are never going to hurt your partner. But it also is going to give you a visual, a visual picture to work off of. Because every slap tells a different story. But uh, remember as well that your movement in stage combat has more in common with dance than it does with anything else. So when you're slapping somebody, what you're going to do is dissect the box. So we first draw out our box, and then our slaps are going to dissect those corners. So if I'm slapping somebody here, I'm going to raise my arm, and that tells my partner that I am going to be slapping you on this diagonal. It's going to move through the corner of that box, and that's where I'm going to be slapping you. So you know which direction to be hit from. So if I'm up here, I'm slapping from here. But if I come up here, then I'm slapping down across the other corner. And both of these slaps are very different. This is a discipline slap. This is more like a drunk parent slapping, right? There, or an abusive person slapping. Or you can cut across straight, straight across their face. But what you need to do is make sure that your arm is here. Um, I am swiping directly across your face. And the Three Stooges use this all the time, but it's used in movies a lot as well. But what you're doing is you're signaling to your partner, this is where I'm coming across your face. Boom! I don't have to tell you, you already know. So if I'm here, I'm swiping across your face. If I'm here, I'm swiping down and across your face. Or down and across your face. But if I'm down here, then I'm smacking up. And I'm hitting up through that corner of the box. Or up through that corner of the box. And these are backhands. These are going to be way, way, way more violent. So every one of these slaps tells a different story and dissects that box at a different point, And that point tells the story. The more precise your move, the straighter and cleaner your lines, the cleaner your story. Always. Now your job as the aggressor is to stand and put your arm out and make sure you are at least six inches, six inches away from your partner's face. You can even be a foot away and your audience won't notice. But what you're going to do is you draw out the box, you double check your measurements, you make sure your feet don't move because six inches may be perfect, but if I'm stepping into you, then I'm gonna smack my partner in the face and that trust is broken. So what you're going to do is check the six inches with them, and then I want you to 
Make eye contract. That's you loading the gun. Make eye contract with your partner. Are you ready? Then you cock the gun or you get your arm into position and then you fire the gun. Load the gun, cock the gun, fire the gun. Those are your three components that you will do. And what you can also do is add in once you've gotten it fluid and your partner is able to trace and track the trajectory of your arm dissecting that box. Okay, so I'm getting your timing down and I'm understanding where you are hitting me and what angle. Then you can add in a yell. Ah! And the yell will help startle your audience and give that little brief moment where they won't see, you can hide the nap and it will sell the violence. Perfect. For the partner, what you are going to be doing is working on a nap. Now a nap is the fake sound that you make to sell the slap. So if I'm getting slapped across the face, it's going to make a sound, a specific sound. If I'm on stage and it's just me, I need to make that sound. And I do that through a clap. So what I do is I trace, I trace and I get that sound. It's what I'm gonna do is take my hand and I'm gonna clap here on this soft part of my hand and I'm gonna find it to where I can get that sound just right every single time. Then what I'm going to do is follow the hand and I will clap and nap. The clap sound should happen when my partner's hand is crossing my face. Right then, boom, that's when it happens. That's when the nap happens and what I'm doing is, yes, the audience is going to see a clap if you just keep a clap. But what you are going to do is when the nap happens, you clap and then this hand drops and this hand cut, comes to your face to touch your face. So the nap is hidden in that way. So when it, you are getting slapped, boom, ah, and you will add in a hiss, right? Like a, cause it stings to get slapped. So when you get hit, Boom, your hands are here, boom, and then this hand drops and dies, and this hand comes up and sells it. So I want you to practice your nap, get very, very good, practice the nap at all the different angles, right? I want you to get slapped across the face, then across the face, then down, then down, then up, then up, and that way you're able to work your nap because it's going to have to adjust depending on each of those angles. Practice each of those and then see if you can upload a video of you slapping yourself or you can bring in a partner, uh, a parent, somebody in your house to practice this with you and you can upload a recording of that. Make sure you don't slap somebody. Again, this is all about safety, your job your job is to keep your partner safe. If you aren't doing that, then you cannot do stage combat. You're not safe to work with. So make sure that safety is key. Go slow, get the timing right. It's all about making sure that the illusion and the angles are correct and that you and your partner are working together. That is how you sell it. All right, everybody, I can't wait to see your videos and I'll see you soon.